I guess we're going to have to do a part two. But big bromeliads, they're kind of going, going nuts. I don't know why I'm having so many problems with the video. Renly's down here following me, following me around. But lots and lots and lots of pretty, pretty stuff. These are, these will be out here for months before they need to be, before they need to be cut down. The little orchid garden is kind of, it's doing, doing really well. The fun thing is the orchids just kind of, you look at them one day and nothing and then all of a sudden there's blooms on them. That one I know just kind of came out over the last handful of, handful of days. So that's cool. There are screen doors so we can have the French doors completely open now. And it's all, all screened in. So that, that's really nice. Our friend, Bars, who does little, oh, he does plants, sales, and stuff like that. Those are, oh, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's a pitcher plant. But those just grow. Where's one of the pitcher? Oh, there's, there's one of the pitchers. But people just tie those to the trees and they grow right on the, right on the tree. There's one of the orchids growing, growing up off the tree. It just does its own, does its own thing. And of course the the clock vines, they're kind of, there's some really, really big ones that are hanging up in the, up in the big tree. Well, there's one that's going to bloom before, before long. So, we'll walk over here to the side of the house. These are really pretty. This is, I believe, some sort of a ginger. But it's got a really pretty bloom on it. And I mean, they're, they're big, big blooms. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I can just take a cutting of these. And most of these tea plants and gingers, all you have to do is just take a cutting and just stick it in the ground. And it'll start a new plant. The uh, the bat flower is really really pretty. It's got a lot a lot going on, and that's the second time that has bloomed for us. <clears throat> We've been getting rocks at the. Our Gavin's been doing a good job getting rocks at the beach whenever we go to the beach grabbing nice nice rocks for the garden here's a new orchid that's a real pretty one um it kind of smells like cinnamon toast it's got a sweet cinnamony vanilla scent to it um and I mean, it's, it's very, very pungent. It just smells like a dessert or something like that. I'll walk over here and show you up close the lobster claws. <clears throat> These have kind of been my favorite thing that's going in the yard. They're getting, well, there's a little, there was a little gecko. I saw him jump off, but these guys are getting really, really big. And this particular 
they're just kind of loaded with with the blooms there's some back back there these are probably seven feet tall or so so they're great big tall ones but they're they're loaded up this is a another type of heliconia and then that is also a torch ginger and I'm trying to think we have some other torch gingers over here that are blooming these are actually really pretty too and those are just the little the little torches that come up and flower so come on you come with me oh walk walk over here and The pineapple patch is doing good. I just said to Gavin, it looks like one of them is starting to actually turn golden. These are the white pineapples. Um, and they're really... At the barbecue the other day, someone had white pineapples soaked in rum. So they were chunked pineapple soaked in soaked in rum but this guy is actually starting to starting to turn a little golden so we might have a pineapple before too terribly long there's six total out of all these plants but i'm sure they'll just keep every year more and more so <clears throat> the pua kinny kinny is full of blooms just full of full of blooms and buds on it we'll walk back here this is going to be a really pretty tree orchid when it decides to go here in a couple more these are more fallish the fall time that's a big torch ginger that hasn't started flowering. But this is one of the pretty ones that just just started flowering the other day. So that's the first time we've seen that. That one is only gonna bloom once a year. And this is the this is the time for it. So this is the area that was all cleared out. It all kind of looked literally like that and we got everything cleared out and now it's just packed with all the hibiscus and i think most it's been about two weeks now and all the hibiscus look pretty good there's my sausage tree back there and those get those are pretty pretty interesting once they get get going but all of the different um, hibiscus colors. That's that's a native hibiscus, so that's a, a pure, a true Hawaiian hibiscus, uh, and they have a little bit different type of flower on them. Um, but they'll be real pretty when they get get going again. Once these guys get bushy and start filling in. They will be very, very pretty. There's our star fruit tree. It's not looking all that great, but kind of sat for a long time before it ultimately uh, wound up getting planted. But we'll keep walking down here. Some little plumeria cuttings that I just stuck in the ground and they're kind of going. The alamanda is blooming like crazy it's bloomed all year long but the summertime is when it really wants to wants to do its thing again the plumeria pots nice and 
full of full of blooms. The angel's trumpet is back at it blooming. Again, this thing is just kind of non-stop wind. We we've talked. I don't know if when we drain the the hot tub whether there's some sort of whether it actually kind of likes a little bit of the chlorine or the 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 tablets we put in there but it's it likes something about this particular spot that was just tiny tiny last last fall it's like the gardenias are going Rindley's out there looking into something. <clears throat> Time to keep walking. Oh, I see some orchids blooming over here that this is the first time seeing them. There's some pretty ones blooming up in the blooming up in the tree. Just doing their own thing. The banana patch, the jade vine. Our jade vine is really, uh, it's climbing, climbing high. And those are the ones that have the really spectacular uh, hanging blue, uh, vine, blue flowers. And it is definitely going well. Everything is pretty much pretty much in order around here. This is the other angel's trumpet that we planted at the exact same time as the other one, and that's all it's been able to accomplish, whereas the other one just kind of keeps going and going. Our green waste pile is starting to shrink and get covered up and get ferns growing in it banana trees are growing crazy here's one of the rainbow eucalyptus that this one is just just kind of kind of went crazy it almost looks like they're starting to get some color in there there's one of the paths that I started back into the jungle and this is about as far as I got. Um, I did plant some zinnia seeds back here and I saw them the other day but now I'm not exactly sure that I I see my zinnias. So sooner or later this path will go all the way back to that tree I imagine. And one of the big ohia trees, I believe that's the yellow one, the yellow ohia trees. So I'd love to see the ohia trees get kind of unearthed to where you could be right up to them. But again, these jungle paths are can be a lot of work. This is the area that we're going to get cleared out here before too terribly long and uh, plant will probably have at least one coffee bean tree and then some cacao uh, some big chocolate chocolate plants to make chocolate with so that's going to be this area right here and we'll get it all cleared cleared out and all the fern taken out and um, I know it looks like a lot of work but compared to some of the other areas these are these are pretty easy to, to do um, this stuff pulls out super easy uh, you can just literally almost grab a grab a handful and it pulls right out the roots don't go too terribly deep on it and 